Hi there. I want to talk about applying rhythm filters, <clears throat> applying rhythm ideas to scales. You know, when you practice scales, that's all well and good. It builds your chops. It gets you familiar. You know, a lot of guys even say, no, oh, don't play scales. <laughs> you know what? One of the best improvisers with pet was Joe Pass. Could he play scales? You bet he could. I've seen it. So, you know what? You got to play your scales, but you don't always have to play them in straight eighth notes. As a matter of fact, I think that can be a real downfall. What you want to be able to do is take that scale and make music with it. Now, one of the most important elements of music is rhythm. Rhythm is very important, and I don't mean the rhythm of the drums. I mean the rhythm of the melody. So that's a lot of guys uh, list that, a lot of scholars list that as the number one ingredient, most important ingredient in music is rhythm. Then there's pitch, right? Then there's harmony. Then there's timbre, what instrument it's played on. The, the four elements of music. So if you practice your scales, music with those scales that's really good for you now I have a lesson called uh, rhythm filters scales with rhythm filters it's under our jazz improv section we take 13 scales and we take uh, 13 different types of scales and apply 13 rhythms to them so we also have a lesson called the glossary of scales and they go hand in hand. But this way, you're gonna learn some scales and you'll also learn some rhythm ideas. Tell you what, let me show you one more, uh, another scale with a rhythm idea. All right, I'm gonna take this E blue scale. And what I'm gonna do is uh, apply a rhythm filter. It's gonna sound like this. Boo -da -doo 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 -doo. And I'm gonna apply that to every scale degree. So I'm gonna make it a, se a sequence as well played with a rhythm figure. So my next one is gonna be then. Okay, so. Whatever. So you get the idea? Now, it, you know, you have to really do some thinking with this when you take something and with a rhythmic sequential idea, okay, and applying it to every cell. So I also have a lesson on sequences, okay? so. If you're having a hard time with it, you might want to check that out. But you see, now I've taken that scale, and <clears throat> you know, as far as how much time it covers in space, in other words, that's probably about an eight measure or, or better line instead of just playing the, the scale, right? There's one measure, two measures. Three measures, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you take that you've made eight bar little phrase, right? Really important to be able to do that on the fly. Okay, so you gotta start doing that in your practice. Let me show you one more. All right, so what we've done in the beginning is I played a rhythm filter, whatever it was, over a C scale. Then we did it over a blue scale. We broke it up into little cells. Now let's take an arpeggio. Let's take a D minor seven arpeggio. It's wonderful to play that by itself. However, let's make some music with it. Um, Okay, 
Okay, so. Okay, we can play it backwards. It takes some thinking, okay? But it's good for you because you want to learn to do that on the fly with your improv. So again, applying rhythm fil filters or rhythm ideas to a scale, a, a sequence, or an arpeggio is really can further your development for your improv. So take that seriously. And don't forget about those lessons I told you about. They can really help you. I'll talk at you later. Thank you.